You know, sometimes there are things you just don't want to put into a dryer. And also, you might lose power and not have a dryer. So I am happy to report I found a wonderful item that solves the problem. And it is, best of all, made in the United States. In fact, it says it right on the box. So I just got this item in. I waited about two weeks or three weeks for this. So I'm very excited to get it. This is from Lehman's, which is a website and a store, which I heard about from Doug and Stacy. And this is an Amish made clothes drying rack. So let's get it out. This is the larger size that they offer. Let's get it out and check it out. Maybe it's better if I open it from the side. It's shipped in a very sturdy cardboard box. I wish I'd had a few of these to move some of my things across the country. I used to have one of these and it lasted me forever, but it wasn't made by Lehman's and it was not this sturdy. It's so awesome not having to put anything together, you know. <laughs> you order things from China, and very often you're spending the whole night putting them together. But this is shipped ready to go. Seems like it's shipped really well. Whoa! <laughs> Unless I drop it and break it before I get to use it. This is probably twice as heavy as the one I had for a long time. So. Can you move over there, please? <laughs> oh, it's my birthday. Don't do that. All right. <laughs> we'll set it up right here and check it out. But I have a better idea to put it to use right away. Uh, which is the top and which is the bottom? Has to be this way. Wow. Nice. Like I said, this is the big size. I'm gonna pull this middle rack up. Got two hooks on it, obviously. You could get, they say you can get a whole load of laundry on this. I mean, I'm sure sheets are <laughs> not as easy. Maybe if I do it from the other side. It's heavy, I gotta say. I wanted the sturdy one. I should have gotten the small one too for inside. I only got one thinking that I'd get more use out of the big one, but this is actually a little bit large for the inside of my house. However, I've got a hot fire going because we are in, well, it's starting tonight. We are in my first great weather challenge here which is an ice storm that's on the way. It's supposed to cover 1,300 miles of our country, the middle of our country. Missouri is already below zero with the wind chill factor. Okay, I have to remember not to lift up this one when I move it, because it'll all go crashing down. Okay, okay. I'm gonna to have to unfold it to take it inside, but let's take it inside because I have a couple of rugs, bathroom rugs, and those you really don't wanna put in a dryer, even if you do have power. And if you've already got heat and you've got a rack, you can just put it in front of your stove, your wood stove. So let's go do that. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> Oops. 
Okay. This has to go up. High enough to go here. And you're done. Get in there. Oops. Okay. A nice warm fire going and of course if I turn the blower on these clothes are going to dry even faster. Now I'm going to grab the wet rugs and I also have some other clothes and I'm just going to hang it up. <laughs> Maybe this goes over here. What is going on? Okay, I thought that got dirty. It almost looks dirty. That is weird. You know what, that looks dirty. Why would that look dirtier than when I put it in? That concerns me, because I saw that once before. Let's see this one. These are supposed to be off-white, and they're not clean. <gasps> they're not clean at all. Okay, hold on while I go wash these again. So, while those are washing, I thought I would just tell you about the great live stream I had this morning. Today's my birthday. Today's Valentine's Day. I'm a Valentine's baby. I was born in an ice storm. Oh, so many years ago. <laughs> in Tennessee, this is my first birthday back in Tennessee, living in Tennessee. I said when I lived in New York, I would never come back to Tennessee. I said when I lived in LA, I would never come back to Tennessee. But you know what, life changes and you know, you get thrown some lemons and you make lemonade. You make the best of it and I decided, number one, to <laughs> get a bigger place because you know my garden in LA was so small. And I used every available inch and very often it did not lead to success because things were so crowded. In fact, my viewers would often write and say, your garden is too crowded, you're gonna have more fungal disease, <laughs> which I did. Uh, now I've got space. I don't have a lot of soil over the rock, but I've got space and if I can get myself some soil, and get myself some raised beds built, then I'm going to be ready to go. It is already the middle of February, obviously. It's the 14th, Valentine's Day, and I have just gotten my seeds organized. I have looked, just looked at my seeds, glanced, as I filed them for the first time and some of them I've just seen for years. They've, I've had some of these seeds for years. Uh, many of the seeds were given to me over time by viewers would send them to me or bring them when they visited. I have a whole playlist on my channel of people coming to visit the Late Bloomer Garden and I always filmed those visits. Hmm. But as you know, I've been very involved in getting this beautiful fireplace finished so that I could clean up this room and have one room <laughs> that looked kind of decent. <laughs> of course, now I've got this <laughs> humongous clothing rack here, but no one's coming today. We're going to have an ice storm, but I am going to order the smaller size. This is really, you know, the thing you would put out in the sun and put a whole load of clothes on. But I am on a quest to find well-made products made in the United States. And if you have any recommendations for me, I would love for you to leave me a comment below because maybe it's something I need. I've also found a wonderful cookery and I can't wait to share that with you. I am going to share a recipe for making beef bone broth that I got from Mary's Nest. 
She has a lovely channel. I love Mary. So pleasant and makes the recipes sound so easy. So <laughs> if you remember the, the recipes that I used to make in my house, I was always like the 20 minute cook. It's got to be easy or I don't try it, you know. <laughs> and also I have another product from Lehman's. Uh, that's Amish made. I can't wait to share. I wanted to share with you my Corinthian bells. Let me go get that little thing. <laughs> Hold on. Another product that I'm so excited about is also made in the United States and it's Corinthian bells. And these are wind chimes. <laughs> Where's the card? It's supposed to be in the box. My recollection is that they are individually tuned. They don't just hang some metal down and, and hope it sounds good when the wind blows. These are actually tuned. And on a much warmer day, I set them up. So check it out. Finally putting this up, listen. I absolutely love the color of that. That teal blue, I actually had a Volvo that color <laughs> many years ago before I started driving Prius. Oh, by the way, I have not gotten a pickup truck. I wanted my pickup truck today. And boy, did I need it because we are gonna get two to five inches of snow. Not only do I not have a truck, but I don't have a sled to sled off my front. I don't even have an inner tube. So if we really do get five inches of snow, I am going to make a sled out of cardboard, of which I have a lot of, and I'm gonna slide off that hill on cardboard. Trust me, I'm gonna do that. All right, let's go check on the bath mats. Okay, I think they're cleaner. <laughs> Wait, I'm just, is that a shadow or is that actually dirty? I can't decide. That looks pretty clean. Let's see. Let's do this there. And this one. Okay, I guess that looks okay. Let's see. <laughs> I gotta get used to the way this is laid out. This is bigger than the one I used to have. Ooh, rugs put off so much lint. And that rubber backing gets all ruined if you put it in the dryer. I am going to have a Valentine cupcake in lieu of birthday cake with a cup of tea and I am going to finish organizing my seeds. I can't start seeding until I do this. So thanks so much for watching this video. If you're a late bloomer like me, I hope you'll subscribe and tell your friends and I look forward to seeing you in the very next video. Mm. So, while those are watching, washing, watching. <laughs>